A legend remembered. Good evening and welcome to your Sports Connection. Texas Tech football, Lubbock and San Antonio communities, along with all those who, of course, long followed college football are mourning the loss of a Red Raider legend today. All-American Ring of Honor and college football inductee Gabe Rivera has passed away last night at the age of 57. Rivera earned the nickname Senior Sack while at Texas Tech for the tenacity he exhibited when pursuing the opposition's quarterback. And he was a consensus All-American for the Red Raiders, playing from 79 to 83. He was drafted by the Pittsburgh Steelers in the first round in 83, 21 overall, a position many thought would go to Pittsburgh Panther quarterback Dan Marino. Instead of looking for the heir apparent to Terry Bradshaw, the Steel Curtain, went with the heir apparent to Mean Joe Green. Just six games into his professional career, Rivera was seriously injured in a car accident, severing his spinal cord, resulting in permanent paralysis. One of his attributes, friends, family, and those that knew him best is what he fell back on, his love of people, helping those out. And today we had a chance to chat with a head of Double T, uh, the Double T Letterman's Club and a former Texas Tech quarterback, Rodney Allison, as well as one of Rivera's former teammates, Ron Reeves, who was quarterback for the Red Raiders while Rivera was tracking down those quarterbacks. And I think it was in 1982 that, and Arkansas was an option team at the time, and the quarterback, uh, Gabe's on the other side, and they run an option away from Gabe. Gabe comes off a block, and Arkansas's got it on the, their own 28-yard line. Gabe chases down the other quarterback, other team's quarterback, on the 17. 55 yards down the field versus an option quarterback who can run really well. Gabe runs him down from behind. I think it was in 1980, and uh, we were playing SMU here. They were in the top four or five in the country. Uh, we were competitive, but not expected to win anything. And we beat them 14 to nothing, shut them down. Gabe was a big part of that. Uh, Eric Dickerson, who, you know, future all pro and great player from the state of Texas as well. And I mean, there's just one hit that Gabe stopped him in the line and, and uh, yanked his helmet off at the same time. And, you know, Dickerson's falling backwards without his helmet on. And Gabe's just kind of standing there with his helmet in his hand. It's just a a photo that's etched in many people's memories and it was fun to be there and watch it.